three seconds on, three seconds off. That's what it does all night. Okay, so you're gonna take us inside. These walls are triple brick thick. Okay. There's triple layer of bricks and then an airspace and then an inside layer of brick. It's actually four layers, so just pull that door closed behind you. So this is actually from 1896? Yes. These are the original floors. This is original white ash wood trim. Uh, the furnishings we brought back. So this is the type of stove they would have had at the time, which is a combination coal and wood heating stove. It's a Enterprise Monarch. See the craftsmanship? And it's all cast and nickel plated. Yep. Okay. This is a bathroom that the Coast Guard put in in 1943. This used to be a pantry. This was their pantry where they stored all their dry goods. So we just painted the pantry on the door. So, th but this is the actual door. Yes, it's the actual door. Y you have to forgive me why I keep asking you if this is yeah, the actual. No, I'm just amazed no by it. Oh. Some of this, uh, there's, there are a few pieces of this trim that have been replaced over the last eight or nine years. They also had this uh, Victrola over here. So it's uh, completely crank, manual crank Victrola. He cranked it up and uh, set it to play in and away she go. This is amazing. Thank you for the tour. These are the bedrooms. Those are nautical rooms, so a lot of, uh, we have a wreck down on the beach. So because we have the wreck down there, a lot of people, sailors and everybody, just really likes nautical stuff. And the lighthouse was here for the ships. So we kind of made this room into a nautical room and the local people would build models of ships. And they kept asking us, well, can we give you our ship? Huh? So finally we said, yeah, <laughs> we just made a room and put all the ships in one spot. <laughs> and a lot of this rusty stuff you see laying around here in the timbers, those are all pieces off the fay that have washed up on the shore. Okay, so the shipwreck of the the shipwreck of the Joseph S. Fay, that is part of the shipwreck that washed up on shore that we can go look at. These are herbs that we hang in here smell down, otherwise it gets real musty smelling in here during the winter time. You know, I noticed too, it's it's not that hot and humid. I yeah. noticed that these buildings are insulated different, well, things were made differently back then. The brick, the multi layers of brick actually keep it cooler because you have so much mass there and the only insulation is that airspace between the third layer of brick and the inside fourth layer of brick. So this was his watch room. This is where the guy would stand watch and he had a little stove to keep his coffee or tea warm. And right here, look at this. Oops, I didn't mean to close it that hard. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. I didn't even realize, oh. And this is a functioning light, so do not touch the lens. No. Or any part of the lens. 1872. 1872, excuse me. This is the second lens that was here. The original lens uh, actually rotated on this pedestal and it had a big gear case right here and this weight hung down through the tower. It was like a big clockwork mechanism. The guy would crank that weight up, start the lens rotating, and that weight would keep the flywheel turning for about three hours. So if you come in the photo cell, the light comes on and it flashes every three seconds. So it's three seconds on, three seconds off. So the sign points to shipwreck. 
Now, like I said at the beginning, <laughs> hopefully at some point we can get to some some sort of fishing, but this is an adventure. I think this is it right here. Joseph S. Fay. I've showed you guys these boards before. Wow. You would never think that this is where I would come to smallmouth bass fish. So this looks like I'm on an island. So this is part of a shipwreck right here. Hold on. Yep, right here. This right here is part of that shipwreck and there's a giant ant right there. But anyway, you can kind of see, oh yeah. That wood's heavy too for, I mean, for what it was, but. And then to show you more of this, there's a buoy out there and the buoy is where the actual ship wrecked at. Now, if you look right here, there's two rods sticking up with a piece of wood right there, which is where, which came from the boat, excuse me. Now, when the water's down, from my understanding, you'll be able to see more of it right here. Check this out. Fishing inland lakes and streams with 11,000 inland lakes, over 36,000 miles of rivers and streams, and more shoreline than any state other than Alaska, Michigan offers fishing opportunities to everyone. Yes, it does. Whether that's bank, boat, river, kayak, pond, smallmouth bass, bluegill, yellow perch, walleye, rock bass. That's why I love Michigan. You got Lake Huron, Thompson Harbor, Black Point, you got your legend, and of course, this, it, this is, excuse me, from the Department of Natural Resources in Michigan. Look at this. You see how they have that aqua color to him? You see how aggressive he was? Oh, what? What? Are those bass or suckers? That's a bass. Oh, he had it in his mouth. Hey, huh? Oh, listen. Listen, hey, 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 bud. Dude, they are so strong. I mean, do not want to give up. 
anyway, that's not the one I was after. The one I was after is much bigger, but they're in here again, eating perch. Put this, I, I got this net down there to catch these bait fish. I'm gonna have to show you guys a couple and still get it in the camera. So check this out. See what I'm saying about perch being in there? Here, go back in there, go back in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this net and I'm gonna try and catch a couple down there. But I might have to set up a camera because you're not gonna be able to see it on the GoPro. Oh, did you see that? Perch is why the other fish are in here. They are so mean here. I got this one hiding up in the weeds, and that is my third fish of the day. Not nothing crazy, but pretty good for bank fishing. Fat little guy. Okay, so I'm very, very far away from home, and I got this sweet green tube on a 3 8 ounce tube jig. And I'm literally where this river meets Lake Huron, okay? I got it. That's a big one. I just caught the three pounder that I've been wanting this whole time. Look at this. Lake Huron smallmouth bass. We're gonna get a weight. Uh, wow. I'm gonna say three pounds even, but I feel like that's a little, that's a little generous. Three pounds, five ounces. He is very fat. Three pounds, five ounces on the tube. Lake Huron. What a fish. Got him. Oh no. Nope, listen. Little guy. <laughs> I didn't even feel him. God, is that fighting hard? Weirdest bite I've ever felt right there. There's another one. I didn't even really, he's all warm. I didn't really have a ton of time to react to that one. Here, 
get out of there.